Hi Aries, welcome to Cardinia Moon, I'm Lisa. Um, just a quick update, um, some of you may or may not have seen the video I posted. I'm not doing time specific readings anymore. I feel they were limiting the message, limiting the story. Um, I, I just felt it was putting too much of a, a deadline on things and it was it was affecting the flow, so to speak. So from now on, um, in my in my readings, you will just see at the end of the title the month and year it was uploaded, okay? And hopefully you will see the messages and see the readings at a time that is appropriate for you, if that makes sense. Kind of blonde for a reason. Okay, um, everything else you need to know is in the description box below. To my subscribers new and old, thank you so much for your continued likes, shares, comments and your subscription. Obviously, it really, really does mean a lot to me. So thank you very much for that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my God. This came out in your pre-shuffle. OK. Oh, sorry. Before. Back in the zone, Lise. Back in the zone. If you are new, hi, I'm not normally this crazy, I'm normally worse to be fair, but please grab a chair, get comfy, hopefully you will like what you see, if you do you'll hit that subscribe button. Okay, back to your reading areas, sorry about that. Okay, this came out in your pre-shuffle, <coughs> I feel for some of you things were a little excessive at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, apologies, um, there's either too much drinking, too much smoking, too much going on, um, there, or there is there is something stuck in your mind or in your emotions or in your psyche or spirit, however you want to call it, that is just doing this. There's something you cannot let go of at the moment. OK, something that needs to be dealt with, something that you're you're borderline obsessing over. OK, now this could be a person, a situation. It could be something you've seen. It can be anything along those lines. But at the moment, Things are very, very intense for you and things are very, very, um, like I said, excessive. Everything feels ex excessive, okay? On the other hand, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Ba -dum -bum. Okay, let's see what else we've got. You want that one? <clears throat> let's see what else we've got for you. Also, if you're new, my guide sits here. We do have a little rabbit occasionally. Now, this is more like it. No emotional start. Start of... Um, start of a new relationship new relationship coming into fruitation that's more like it this is what we want to see let's get shot this okay maybe some of you are um craving almost i don't mean this is in a detrimental way to you at all and there is no judgment here at all trust me but i feel um some of you may be craving a relationship so much that it is actually blocking you from actually having a relationship <clears throat> or getting the relationship you deserve It's all to do with something from, from where? It's all to do with something from where? From where? From a distance. It's all to do with something from a distance. I hope that makes sense. It's all to do with something from a distance. Something you are obsessing over that is a distance, a physical distance from you or a distance in time from you. OK, here we go. Here we go. This is more like it now. OK, <clears throat> if you can sort this crap out, OK, in this, right, if you can sort that out or, that, or the, like I said, too much drinking, too much smoking, too much excessively thinking about something that <clears throat> is either a distance in time from you or a physical distance from you, okay? There is a very, very strong possibility of a new relationship, okay? Now, this new relationship is actually good. This is um, <clears throat> something that is divinely being given to you. you you've, you've paid your dues, okay? Stop doing this crap, though, and then you've paid your dues, okay? You've paid your dues, you have prepared yourself, you have... Um, you are at a place where you are ready to accept this new relationship, okay? Because spirit is bringing it in for you. The universe, karma, how, however you want to wrap it up and word it, it is bringing it in for you, okay? This is something that is actually going to help you break down the barriers. Now, this, I feel, is breaking down the barriers of, of what has been going on here. 
or with this person or with this situation, okay? And this is actually, for the first time in ages, you are going to feel a real contentment. A real contentment. Right down here, right inside, right in your core, there is going to feel, you're going to feel this real contentment, okay? But we need to cut down on this obsessive behaviour. Whatever the obsessive behaviour is, we need to cut down on that first, okay? And then this new relationship is really, really going to, um, I feel it's even going to take you by surprise on um, on how vulnerable you allow yourself to be in it. Because what we need to understand is there is a strength in vulnerability. I'm the world's worst at being vulnerable. I, I just, I hate being vulnerable. I don't even like physically feeling vulnerable, let alone emotionally, spiritually or anything like that. But there is a strength to it. And if you can learn to accept it and be comfortable with it, OK, it can bring you so many rewards that you're just unaware of, absolutely unaware of. So, yes, this new relationship will break down those barriers. And yes, you, you will be very, very surprised on how vulnerable you've allowed yourself to be in this relationship. And it's very nurturing as well. This person actually wants to be quite nurturing to you that they 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 in themselves are quite emotionally strong. OK, and they are not afraid of their emotions. And seeing someone come at you who isn't afraid of their emotions is also um, quite new to some of you. It's like, wow, they're, they're, you know, they're being emotional. They're, being, they're actually being vulnerable with me. This makes me feel comfortable to be vulnerable. But I can see when they're vulnerable, they don't find it scary. They're not afraid of it at all. Because they're happy and settled with their emotions. And they're well aware that emotions are just that. Whether they're good or bad emotions, if you want to label emotions as good or bad, at the end of the day, they are still just emotions. And as long as you face them and as long as you accept that they are there and you look at them and go, OK, you're fear. OK, fear. Let's have a look at you. Why Why am I fearful? What is it I'm fearful of? Why, why am I feeling this way? And if you face that fear, OK, you'll find that it isn't actually as big and scary as it made out it was. And it's the same. It's the same with everything. It's the same with happiness. It's the same with jealousy. It's the same with any emotion you can think of. Okay, being too hard on yourself is actually stems from an emotion. You know, and once you face these, they don't seem as scary. And that's when you find that you can actually be perfectly okay, and there is absolutely nothing wrong in being vulnerable. Absolutely nothing wrong in it at all, and nothing to be feared for from it. So I'm, I'm really happy for you, Aries, because this relationship that is coming your way teaches you those things. Without a shadow of a doubt, it teaches you those things, it teaches you the strength and the vulnerability, because this person is emotionally strong enough to be vulnerable with you. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. It, don't start you too. It, it really is beautiful. I like it. All right, my darlings, I'm going to leave that with you. I will be back again very, very soon. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop me a line either by email or comment. I love having little chats with you, seeing what you have to say. Even if you just say I'm a crazy chick, but that damn, I'll laugh. <laughs> but I'll still like it. All right, my lovelies, I will speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.